Hello. In this video, we will present some of the main functionalities of Euclid using the web user interface. This is the dashboard, and I will access the substance list and access this substance. Euclid allows users to create different types of dossier depending on the purpose and business need the user wants to fulfill. So the web user interface allows users to define one or more uh, submission types simultaneously. As you can see, I have several here. And this is useful uh, whenever uh, substance or mixture is to be used in different business purposes. By default, always the latest submission type used for the substance remains selected. Reach registration 1 to 10 tones in this case. Users can select another one at any time. The corresponding dossier headers can be edited following the submission type details here so that you can validate the dataset accordingly or create dossiers out of it, inserting all relevant information. In this case, I will fill the substance facing. The table of content follows the submission type selected and the existing records are kept across the different submission types selected and they are displayed when relevant. When the user is ready to create the dossier, just click on the button Create Dossier. We fill the information and click on Create Dossier. In the Euclid web interface, Substance datasets go through validation automatically during the dossier creation process when applicable. The validation assistant will inform and invite you to view and correct any existing errors in the dataset or to continue with the creation of the dossier despite them. Today, let's just uh, continue with the creation of the dossier and open it. The first thing to notice is that dossiers have a distinctive log here to differentiate them from datasets. Dossiers also have a different set of buttons that give you access to some of the main features of Euclid. Let's go through them. The following functionalities are displayed when available. Also note that the way the functionalities work or the location where these buttons are may change in the future. With a simple click, the dissemination preview tool collects all the data from the dossier and generates an Excel, providing in great detail a summary of every field in the Euclid dossier that could be published or not. You can open it here. And this will be the information that could be published by ECA when disseminating information in the ECA website. If you need to generate a chemical safety report, this button here will do the, the job. And it will generate an RTF file that can be opened with any text editor. To export a dossier, simply click on the export button. This functionality works differently depending on the browser you're using. So while Internet Explorer will inform you that it's going to save it and you can select the name of, of it, Firefox and Chrome save it automatically in your defined downloads folder with the dossier UUID as a file name. You can also save into a PDF file the content of the dossier of the substance dataset. For this, simply click on the bottom and the PDF will be generated and open. The comparison tool allows users to compare two dossiers. By default, Euclid offers to compare the current dossier with other dossiers from the same substance. Clicking out the checkbox allows users to perform the comparison with any other dossier in the database available to you. You can search dossier by typing some characters or the name, their submission type, the UPAC name, the CAS, or the ACI number when available. A comprehensive comparison report in HTML is generated. And you can easily see the differences and similarities between both. Substance datasets and its respective dossiers are now directly linked via these two buttons. Clicking on the View Dossiers will show you all the related dossiers available to the same substance. While clicking on the Go to, go to Source link will take you, if available, to the original dataset from where those dossiers originated. Let's go back to the dataset. 
We are back in the Substance data set, and this is a good opportunity to check the following functionality. The Validation Assistant. The Validation Assistant helps users to prepare their dossiers before submitting them to ECA by validating the data against a series of technical completeness rules. You can run the Validation Assistant on Substance datasets and dossiers, and the results are detailed in the Validation Report, which is basically this list of all the issues identified. The report lists all the issues found in the substance or dossier. For each section where an issue is found, if no link to a record is provided, this means that the record is completely missing and it should be created. If the data in a record is incomplete, you are given the possibility to access it via the link to review it. So let's click on this one. The validation assistant opens the record selecting in edit mode automatically. To assist you with the change, the validation report displays the error message so that you know what actions are required to validate the record. You can hide it at any time to clear the view if you need it. After the appropriate changes are done, for example, let's give it a name here, you need to save and then click on the validation report to go back to the validation. Notice that the, the issue that we used to have in the consumer users is no longer there. You can always change the dossier settings and revalidate the document to apply different set of rules. To close the validation assistant, just click on this cross and you will be taken back to the Substance dataset. Now that we're back to the Substance dataset, let's see how to view a document. The table of content shows where there is data available. To access a document, simply click on the link and here, you can right click to open it in another browser if you wish. Information is displayed in one web page, so you can search for the information as needed. The left menu helps you to navigate through different sections if you need. To help reviewing the data, you have the possibility to hide the empty fields, and this way you will have a clearer view of the information available. Annotations are a very important feature of Euclid, and they are available here. Simply by clicking on the annotations listed, you open them and can review their content. If you have the appropriate access rights, you can also add new annotations or edit existing ones. To create an annotation for this record, you need to click on New, New Annotation, and enter the relevant information. The annotation status can be set to draft, final, or other, and it helps differentiating them easily in the list. Once you're done, you can save, and the annotation is added to the list. The use of annotations is quite important, as it may contain detailed information about the assessment outcome of a substance or dossier. Attachments are available next to it with this paper clip icon, and you can add delete attachments when viewing the substance in edit mode if you have the appropriate access rights. Let's see how. We click on edit mode, and now we are able to attach new documents. Note that the web interface provides field level help when editing the substance dataset. Next to each field label, a question mark will appear when moving the mouse over it, and if you click on it, a brief description of the field will be displayed. This information can help you to get a better understanding of the purpose of the field. We are developing more features for Euclid web interface, which are available in future releases. Remember that if a functionality is not yet available in the web interface, you can launch the traditional Euclid interface from the main menu here. Thank you very much for your attention.